Hello and welcome to the Consistia the Kalk YouTube channel. I'm your host for this video, Reverend Jack Zabel, the St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church located in Dolby, Queensland, Australia. Um, it's now the season of Advent and basically it's that time of year where Orthodox confessional Lutherans like to get into arguments about the Semper Virgo. And for those who don't know the Latin, the Semper Virgo means the perpetual virginity of Mary. That is the idea that Mary remained a virgin her entire life, even after the birth of Jesus. That is, that Mary and Joseph never engaged in sexual intercourse. And I did a video on this topic last year, in which I pointed out that essentially this whole topic is an open question, but every year this argument comes up regardless. And so if you want more of a discussion just on the topic of Semper Virgo and why it's an open question, I can recommend going back and watching last year's video on this topic. This year's video is more focusing just on the argument that is sometimes put forth by the proponents of Semper Virgo that you have to subscribe to Semper Virgo because it's taught in the Lutheran Confessions. And particularly they like to focus on Article 4 of Part 1 of the Small Cold Articles in which Luther referred to Mary as the Ever-Virgin Mary. And so the question is, does this mean that the Lutheran Confessions teach the doctrine of Semper Virgo and do Lutherans have to subscribe to this doctrine? Well, the answer is essentially no. It is still an open question on Semper Virgo. But how do we address this question in the Small Court Articles? Well, firstly, is that this is not a confessional statement. And people will say, what? That's a cop-out. What do you mean it's not a confessional statement? Luther called her the Ever-Virgin. Yeah, but Luther isn't saying, I believe Mary was an Ever-Virgin. No, Luther is saying, I believe that Jesus was incarnate by the Ever-Virgin. And people say, well, that's still the same thing. Well, no, because the term ever-virgin here is being used as an honorific title, not as a confessional statement. And this is highlighted by the fact that the term ever-virgin only appears in the Latin version of the text. In the German version of the Small Cold Articles, Luther just refers to Mary as the pure Holy Virgin Mary. And so... This reinforces the idea that this is just an honorific title that Luther is giving to Mary and not a confessional statement that Luther is expecting all Lutherans to subscribe to. Because if it was a confessional statement and it was important for all Lutherans to subscribe to, Luther would have had the term ever virgin in both the Latin and the German. The fact that Luther felt it was appropriate to not have the term ever virgin in the German shows that it's not an important point for Luther. He's not getting into fights and arguments over the perpetual virginity of Mary. Now, Luther himself did think Mary was an ever-virgin, and so he was happy to slip it in there as part of his statement, but he's not making a confessional statement. A, a similar example could be like if you wanted to refer to as the Church Father Origen and refer to him as Saint Origen. Now, we don't know who is and isn't a saint. And Origen is considered a saint in the Eastern Church, but not generally in the Western Church. And so, if I was writing in the Lutheran Confessions, or if I was writing a statement and I referred to him as Saint Origen, that's not necessarily me making a confessional statement and demanding that everybody subscribe to the idea that Origen is a saint. So I might say something like, well, Saint Origen taught and there I'm using it as an honorific title because I personally think he's a saint, but I'm not using it as some kind of confessional statement saying that everyone must confess that Origen is a saint. Because essentially, the sainthood of anybody, apart from essentially the apostles and those in scripture, is an adiaphora. Like, it's adiaphora whether you actually think Augustine is a saint or not. Whether you think Origen is a saint or not. Those are open questions. There, there is... There is no confessional statements that say you must teach that Augustine is in heaven. Because for all you know, he may not be. 
and there is no confessional statement that says you must condemn Origen to hell because for all you know he could be in heaven and so this idea of just using the term as an honorific title does not make it subscription based it's not a confessional statement and like I said the fact that Luther felt it was appropriate to drop the term ever virgin in the German version shows that Luther doesn't care about it yes Luther thinks she's an ever virgin and yes he wanted to slip it in in his Latin version but if it was such an important confessional statement he would have contained it in the German version as well essentially Luther thought Mary was an ever virgin as Pastor Magnus of the Coag says the Semper Virgo is the assumed position of the writers of the Book of Concord but they do not subs they do not demand a confessional subscription to the Semper Virgo as Luther says as much in at least three places one in Luther's writings on Jesus being born a Jew and twice in Luther's table talks Luther states that the church has not actually determined this issue although I think the uh, Synod of Milan led by St. Ambrose did make a confession or subscription to Mary being Semper Virgo but Luther argued that no the church didn't have the authority to make this a confessional document because scripture is silent on the matter uh, Luther personally believes it he personally held to Semper Virgo he himself argues that he thinks from a plain reading of scripture Mary was Semper Virgo but Luther says he's not going to get bothered if somebody thinks otherwise and he says that scripture does not quibble or speak about the virginity of Mary after the birth of Christ therefore it's an open question and we can't bind consciences to the Semper Virgo and so therefore in answer to this question no the Lutheran confessions do not have a confessional binding subscription to the doctrine of Semper Virgo yes as Pastor Magnus said Semper Virgo was the assumed position of the authors of the Book of Concord but there is no confessional statement in the Book of Concord about the Semper Virgo that you must subscribe to in order to be a Lutheran so you, you can be a Lutheran and believe Semper Virgo and you can also be a Lutheran and not believe Semper Virgo it's an open question and I hope that answers the question I've been your host Reverend Jake Zabel goodbye and God bless